Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss this question with you. In this question, there are three concepts involved together. The first is the limit, of course you can see, and there is a Leibniz or Leibniz differentiation under the integration sign. And the third is the differential equation. So how do we uh, tackle this question? Let's understand. All right, so let's understand how do we do this question. So it's not so difficult when we decode from where we have to start. You can notice that the first thing here what is given has the variable t. Why so? Because when we integrate this thing, it doesn't matter what function you will choose here. It comes as the function of t. It means if you integrate and you are able to integrate successfully, you will get the function of t and on that t we have to apply the limit approaches infinity it means this x square and of course this 3 is nothing to do with the limit thing so i can safely take it out so why not we can handle this whole situation first so what i'm going to do i'm going to assume uh, this much part this integration part alone as let's say j and we will first uh, simplify this thing and then we will put it back uh, or we can find the limit at t tends to infinity. Let's see. So I have this j that is equal to uh, 0 to 1 x to the power t fx dx. You see uh, the fx I, I don't know the integration of so it's but natural to take the fx as the first function and I'm going to apply the integration by parts. So what we get here fx and then x to the power t plus 1 divided by t plus 1 and of course the limit of this function is 0 to 1 and the second part I mean the uh, integration by parts will be like that 0 to 1 and f dash x and again x to the power t plus 1 divided by t plus 1 and of course dx. Here we can substitute the limit value. So what we get it here is f at 1 and this will give you 1 by t plus 1. And of course the at t is, uh, x equals to 0. This f 0 and that will become 0. So of that whole thing will become 0 at 0. So there is nothing to do with that. Here the t plus 1 I can take it out. And you notice that t plus 1, why I am taking, taking out because you are integrating always the function of x. So t is actually treated as a constant term. So we can take it out, 0 to 1. And this is f dash x. And this is x to the power t plus 1. Okay. So from here also we can see what is going to happen when we impose this limit over here with this t. You understand the x square and 3 are not going to contribute in the limit thing, so I can take it out. But let's uh, again, uh, one more time I want, want to differentiate just to convey a message. So here what will happen? 1 by t plus 1 and I'm keeping this 1 by t plus 1 as it is. And one more time I'm integrating it by integration by parts. So you can see that this term will become f dash x. And x to the power t plus 2 divided by t plus 2 and of course at 0 to 1 and minus here the integration with 0 to 1 f double dash x and this is x to the power t plus 2 divided by t plus 2. So what I can do now this will become f1 this is 1 by t plus 1 as it is no changes here. But from this entire thing, I can take t plus 2 common and I can write here 1 by t plus 1 into t plus 2. Okay, and here what I am left with is the f dash 1 
because this 1 and then 0 will not contribute anything and then 0 to 1 f double dash x x to the power t plus 2 and dx okay now you see this whole thing is just one constant here because after all we are integrating and we don't know how many times I have to integrate but uh, at the end you will get the limit 0 to 1 and this uh, will uh, this will give you a constant but anyway this is the j part we have found now I have to find the limit t approaches infinity and 3x square and t times j because j I have taken out here you can see it means I'm going to find out the limit. So first of all, I have to multiply this t throughout. So it will give you limit t tends to infinity. 3x square is nothing to do. So I can take it out. And this will give you t by t plus 1 with f1 here. This is the first limit. And minus you get t by t plus 1 and t plus 2. And of course, there is some constant, let's say it's any uh, function of x or anything. I'm just not writing this. This is the whole thing. And now you can clearly see what is going to happen. When I'm finding the limit tends to infinity there, this part, t by t plus 1, because the coefficient is 1 there, f1 is constant, this will only give you f1. And here the denominator degree is higher than the numerator and doesn't matter what happens in this position, it doesn't matter. This will always give you zero at t tends to infinity because the denominator ha has higher degree than the numerator. So this is zero. It means we are only getting right hand side as three times f1 x square. So our equation now look like, so what is our equation now? So our equation is on the right hand left hand side I have 3f1x square and on the right hand side uh, I can take this whole thing on the right hand side or maybe let's just do in this way. This part we got and this is minus of 1 to x and now I have fy dy fy dy and uh, this thing is fx minus x square sorry yes fx minus x square plus 4 fx minus x square plus 4 so you can see now this is a clean uh, integration setup means the clean equation we have in terms of the integration which is inviting you to apply the Leibniz formula of differentiation so let's differentiate it you can call this equation number one let's differentiate so what we get here 3 f1 2x and minus this is the dummy variable you can see that so this will give you fx only and this is f dash x and this is minus 2x uh, you notice that i need the value of f1 so what we can do in equation number one let's substitute 1. So in equation 1, I am substituting x equals to 1. So what I am getting here is 3 times f1 and this, is, this uh, integration is 1 to 1. So that will give you 0 at x equals to 1. So this will be 0 and this is f1 and minus uh, 1 plus 4. So 3 f1 minus f1 will become 2 f1 and that is it means we got f1 is equal to 3 by 2. Once we get f1 is equal to 3 by 2, I can directly substitute this f1 in this equation. So we get now uh, 3, 3 by 2 I am substituting here. So I believe it will get 9x. 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So we will get 9x and minus uh, plus 2x I can write here. And I can send this fx that side. So fx plus f dash x. And so we are getting a differential equation that is f dash x plus fx is equal to 11x. 
Uh, you can notice this is now if I, I can assume it as uh, this is y dash uh, plus y is equal to any function qx the linear differential equation and one thing the like a uh, one important point that the y I'm assuming is not the y dummy variable you have taken here so that is only the dummy variable anything could be given there so of course this is the coefficient one here and here the coefficient one so I need that coefficient one there but the p value is one here and the q value is so you can directly write what f dash x into e to the power x and is equal to the e to the power x into 11x dx so what will happen here is e to the power x uh, how I have written here f dash x, fx actually, y, y into fx, uh, e to the power x, no? y into integrating factor. So e to the power x fx and here I can write 11 and the integration of this thing going to be e to the power x, uh, x minus e to the power x plus c. So you can notice here after this, it's not a difficult task. I can write fx is equal to 11 x minus 1 plus c e to the power minus x so this is our equation known and we got the fx but only thing we have to find out the value of c but you also know that the value at 1 of the function is 3 by 2 so that will help us to find out the value of c so we know that f1 is equal to 3 by 2 it means i will get here 3 by 2 is equal to c e to the power minus 1. It means we got uh, c is equal to 3e by 2. So I am going to substitute it back here and I think the answer we got. So this will give you 3 by 2 here and this is e and 1 minus x I can write. So this is our function and after that whatever they are asking for this function we can find it out. Alright, so that's all for today. See you in the next video for some other problem that I believe you must try. Stay math active.